The call is leading to order, and it's really an organizational meeting to go over the bills and see which ones we really want to work on, and which ones that, uh, such as 645, there's been a court opinion made on that. Uh, so, uh, and it was sent to you, so you need to read that over and see if you want to pursue with another law. Yeah. I would recommend we not pursue 1204. From what I understand, that would be uh, very redundant. Right. That's because of this that you read? Uh, yeah. And I have a different bill that addresses it in a different way. Okay. That we will have next year. Okay. Is it better or worse? Well, hopefully well, you're, you're saying not to no, no. Okay. Okay. Um, um, we're just going to take a straw forward. Um, how do, we're just going to take a straw poll on this and we'll vote in, on it in the future. Um, Representative Kraska has recommended that we don't pursue uh, House Bill 1204. It's kind of redundant for what's going on. If, if you were convicted of perjury, you wouldn't be a police officer anymore. You'd probably end up in jail. So okay. we don't need to revoke that certification. Okay. I agree. I agree with that. I agree. I agree. Yeah, okay, we we'll just raise our hands and so we won't do that one. Is that one. Um, official ITM or not? No, it can't be. Well, can't until we have an executive meeting. <coughs> the, the bill we're pursuing, uh, I'm going to pursue, is the 1204. Would, would either terminate the officer or revoke it well before perjury is reached. Okay. Well before. Okay. But wouldn't that be judging before? It would. Before but you know if there's any perjury? He doesn't the have court to be, would be signing his perjury. Uh, we just, just I going know. through. And I'm just but asking. No, I, 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 I'm, I'm he, just asking. He can, he can lie and not, not be under oath. Right. So if, if the officer has a record of being dishonest, and she knows that, he could take action well before he bring charges of perjury. So what we're just, we're not going to argue no, these I'm now, we're just, just, just trying to cut down our workload. I'm sworn, Paul. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Right. Do you want to say something? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This, this article I distributed states that uh, it's out. September 5th, 2007, the state of Washington yeah. published the first opinion holding that a police officer who lies should be terminated as a matter of public policy. And uh, until such public policy is adopted by the state in which the agency is located, the best way to encourage honesty is to have a clear code of conduct saying that officers who are untruthful will be subject to termination for a first offense and to implement this code of standard in a consistent manner. That's the recommendation of the court. Yeah. So I think we should pursue a law to that yeah. effect rather than perjury. Okay, so right. we, we just, when, when we do the executives, we're not going to do a work session on that. Um, the other one is permitting the audio and video recording of public officials while in the course of his official duties. Um, is anybody interested in pursuing that? Yes. Is that I, I now just, approved? What? Can I be now? The Glick decision says so, but we want to put it in the statute. Well, I have no objection. So I think we should pursue that. Yeah. Did you have something? I, I, I had a question um, about uh, any limitations on which uh, public officials that could or could, does not have to be. Yep. That's the thing uh, that's holding me okay, up. Okay, we'll, we'll take that up at the work yeah. session. We're just so now just yeah. trying to make sure what we want to work on. What okay. we don't want. It says in okay. sort of your official duties. Yeah. Yeah. Doesn't okay, mean we um, take you at home. No. But a teacher might not want to all court it. She might want to section yeah. out the teachers as opposed to other public officials. Could be. Like be a public yeah. official. Okay, when my the town. Anyway, that was just that's, uh, that's the kind of stuff we need. Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. That's, 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 that's all I need. Yeah. Uh 1607 is relative to limited driving yeah. privileges after revocation yeah, should be financial up. Yes. <laughs> well, is anybody going to let me finish? <laughs> I, I think we ought to do that, too. Is everybody in favor of working on that one? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Uh, 
1575 requiring state police to wear cameras when interacting with the public. An interesting development happened told, uh, on September 16th, excuse me, which is yesterday. Yes, okay. the president agrees with you, right? Uh, if, if the White House received over 100,000 signatures on a petition, they are legally obligated to respond. They received 154,000 signatures on a petition that said all police in the country ought to have a camera on them. The Obama administration came out publicly and they said they agree it's good public policy. So that would take an act of Congress. We're going to beat them to the punch. Well, we, we, we can know. study it, but that's no sign yeah. we'll get it fine. Also, <laughs> also Earl, Earl Sweeney, the Assistant Commissioner Earl Sweeney, told me he has two cameras on the way right now and they're going to test them out. Really? Okay. And he agrees with you. A good public policy for everybody involved. So, the cost that we need for every officer, or, or are they going to be randomly? Are we going to they can use them at their discretion? No, we're not supposed to be discussing this. We're just supposed to say we're going we're, to. We're I think if it was with discretion, discretion with what one they want to do, leave it up to them. The department to decide when they need well, to we'll not. take that That's up. We'll talk. But shouldn't it be all police? No, just so listen, we're 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 this, this one here <laughs> states just state police. Yeah. So we said that we'd like to pursue it, so that's what we'll do. 1485 is relative to vulnerable users of the highway. I think we should pursue that one. Myself, I believe that. How do you know? I don't, I don't think so. I, I think, think so. that's a mistake. I think so. Okay. Well, we had a young gen we had a young gentleman in here that just works for the Department of Safety that feels that he's one of them people that would like like to be protected. No, we also have the livable communities with lots of bikers and walkies, wheelchairs. Yeah. Wheelchairs on the highway. That's gonna be exciting. <laughs> it's not yeah. the highway. Well, the road. Yes. Just, just a quick comment on this. I talked to John Sobrowski, who's one of the sponsors of this bill, why we voted to put it in a terms study. Because of the fact that both sides have to be educated, for one thing, because I've seen vulnerable users hogging the road. Without any reflectors. <clears throat> or any safety features, right? Like they own the road. Yeah. So I think it has to be a two-way street. So I said, I think perhaps that the vulnerable users, as well as the drivers, need to be educated so that, so this would give them time for those organizations to tell their people about that those who ride horses, ride bikes, etc. Et to be trained to you know obey the rules of the road themselves. There should be a minimum standard. You have to have a blinking light or something. I agree, which is why But does everybody here understand that no matter what we do with this bill, if we agree with it or anything else, that someone has to sponsor a new bill yeah, right. in the next session. <laughs> We're just doing a little study on it to bring it up to date. You're going to put a blink on the horse? Yes. On your back? On your back, yes. Put that up to the bolt. Or the person. Yes, yeah, follow up. Uh, <laughs> bolt. Okay. Um, okay. 1566 is uh, relative to warrant requirements. I don't recall. Um, that was a. That was a draft. I mean, like, um, what's that? The cell phone take. take oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was one of the. Yeah. That was, and all the information is on it, so they have to have a warrant. Yeah. Yeah, so it's a your phone. Is that one that we want to work on? Or? Yes. It's already a problem. Sure. Yeah, for sure. Yes. Because it is common. I mean, everybody. Well, this bill provides that devices that enhance or extend the human senses yeah. shall not be used by a government official without obtaining a warrant or without fulfilling a legally recognized exception to a warrant requirement. So they shouldn't be using thermal imaging unless they have a warrant that says, yes, use thermal imaging on this house to see if they have a pop What about thermal images on the house where it's on fire and they have to use it to see if there's people in there? You can make an exception for a fire department. I think. Well, I hope so. Emergency, emergency, that's an exigent search. But make the evidence they find out the emergency now they missed it. Because they didn't have a warrant. Right? They can always go in, but they can't use it as evidence. So that's fine. Well, most of it, when I get out of here, it's done for the fire department. Well, this would be law enforcement because the grow lights, and if the house is 
quick to grow pot plants. They have lights that generate a ton of heat, and you see that heat. It's um, much more readily apparent than another I gotta house. read up on that. Oh, we'll take care of it. You don't have to worry about it. Is, is it possible that Mr. Yeah, Tasker should take a drug test? When? He seems <laughs> high on something. <laughs> 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 I'm excited. He's excited. excited. <laughs> have you been to Manchester? Okay, so Africa? we want to. Um, no, I don't have a story. I'm going to wrap this gavel really hard in a minute. Um, House Bill 645 uh, seems to have been taken care of by the court. So um, it would be redundant to put another, to put a bill in. The court has already taken care of it. Um, repealing mandam, mandatory minimum sentences. Absolutely. We need discretion. Yeah, I think. Yeah, so we have a judgment. We tie their hand to do and nobody any good. It just makes us feel better. Yeah. Um, Again, and I do know of a case that, um, well, this is kind of off course, so never mind. Uh, um, the, what days are best for you people to come in? We just probably should have two days a week for the month of October. Saturday and Sunday. Oh. Yeah, if uh, we oh, could yeah. get up here, oh. it would be a better day with me, too. No, let's do it. No, so right. Saturday and Sunday are those campaigning days. No, I don't no. Come on, campaign. It either it has to be Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday. All right, because I want to get paid. I'd rather do it. Two bucks. I work. Anybody so, else? All three all work work work. Work. Tuesday, Wednesday, or Thursday will work for me. All three. Saturday and Thursday will work for me. Okay, let's let's make it Tuesdays. And... Wednesdays uh, for to get these bills underway uh, to make sure that we have the open hearing firm and um, whatnot. So um, let's have them put in the calendar for um, yeah the thirtieth and the first. Oh, I haven't. We'll be getting a consent. I have some. Yeah. Let's start on Wednesday, just one day of the next week. Which day? The first. October 1st. I won't be here. That's okay. Go along without me. Okay. And we'll start. We'll start with. Um, House Bill 1575. And um, should we do two of them? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ten yeah. people can get in. And 1566 uh, 15, and uh, what did I say? 1575. The two will work on that one. Then the following Tuesday, we will meet the 7th, and we will get on the 9th. The 7th and the 9th, or 7th and the 8th. Well, we just a minute. Okay. <laughs> um, we should work on 1607 and um, 1485. That's on the seventh, right? Yeah. It's on the seventh. Yeah. 1607 and 1485 on the. Uh, yeah. yeah. And what did they have? On the first, we're going to do 1566 and um, 1675. And on the seventh. 1607 and 1585. And on the eighth, we'll do. Um, 
and that will give us the hearings for the What was the seventh? Which number? Twelve oh four. We're not going to do because sixteen oh seven and fourteen eighty five. What I have written down is um, on the first we're going to do fifteen seventy five and fifteen sixty six, and on the seventh we're going to do. 1607 and 1485. And on the 8th, we're going to do 1550 and 1580. That's it. And then if we need more hearings that we think we need to hear more on a bill, we can do it the next week. But on the... Yeah, on the 14th, we should exact. You're going to calendar anyway, right? Yeah. So we're going to And 1204? 1204, we're not going to do. Let the record indicate, Madam Chair, that I surmised on the House floor that that was just an attempt to send this back here and that nothing would be done. Let the record indicate. Well, I don't need to have that comment because the gentleman sitting there has a bill going in. I, I and that's the reason we're not doing it. Let the record indicate that my... My prophecy on the House floor was correct. <laughs> <laughs> well, when you spoke on the House floor, it might have been written anyway. It was not written. Oh, well, tell I just surmised that this was an attempt to kill the bill, which of course it was. Okay. It wasn't killing the bill. He has a better bill coming in. Damn I'm sure we can all have better bills than these, but we're still discussing them. How can you tell? You know, it would have been nice if you just forgot to get here. That's Thank you, Mr. I Chair. I'm, I'm, yeah, sure that, well, I'm sure the Chair next year will not speak in such unfortunate terms. Well, I'm sure they won't. That's a slur of the worst sort that no Chair should ever resort to. Well, I'm not no Chair. I'm just expressing my opinion. Oh, maybe you should leave the Chair when you express it. such an uncivil opinion. Well, you know, we all have our own comments. Well, I just want the record to indicate. You were not here at the beginning of the meeting. You didn't hear what was done. And first off, you make a sly remark that we It wasn't a sly remark. It was simply that the record should indicate that. Plus, Madam Chair, I think many people have not sat here through every second, but they've still been allowed the opportunity to okay. speak. Is there anything else that you would like to... I, I think and this is precisely the kind of reason I was debating myself whether I should come here or not, because I knew I'd be slurred if I came here and expressed that kind of opinion. In all fairness to the chair, I did recommend we not pursue that. I recommend we not pursue any of them, since there's nothing we can do. <laughs> Representative no, Tasco. You do have something you wanted to say. Uh, it was my recommendation that we not pursue that particular bill. And tell him why. Oh, because uh, that would help. the perjury is far beyond the standard we should be having for revoking. Well, I would simply respond that since I have this handout here, it's all the more reason that we should look at it in this committee. A handout which I believe you, Representative Tasker, provided to me through an email. It's certainly relevant to the bill, and it's all the more reason that if we do any of these bills, that should be the priority. Worth talking in about. my humble opinion. And I believe that's what you were referring to, right? That's true. That, that was part of your building. Um, yeah. uh, this is the basis for my building. Yeah, this is the I, uh, if everybody's agreeable, uh, I can get in at 9 o'clock. I don't know about the rest of the Yeah, I love that's it. That's fine. Yeah, that's good. 9 o'clock. Uh, at least for the first. I'll do the chair a favor and not bother the show. Okay. Steve, I was hoping we could leave on friendly terms. Well, when you just slurred me by saying, well, if I don't show up, it's hardly a friendly term. You're in call or you just slurred? You said it yourself. Then I'll, but I'll slur right back. Steve, you said yourself. We will chat at 9 o'clock. October 1st. Not the hearing closed. Hey, Steve. You don't get paid for that.